Railroad Switch Direct Contact Heater, a heater designed to prevent an accumulation of snow and ice on railroad switches. A railroad switch, or simply switch, is designed to guide a train from one track to another. This is a purely mechanical device, and just like a normal rail track, is also exposed to the elements all year round. Because of this, in cold weather locations, ice and snow can form on these rail switches, preventing them from moving, essentially making them inoperative. In these specific cases, it's important to continuously remove the snow and ice as they accumulate. The easiest and most straightforward way to remove the snow is to use a broom, or more specifically, a switch broom. It's like a regular broom, but with toughened bristles and sometimes a chisel to break up ice. This method, however, requires a person to be at the location of the switch to remove the snow. Depending on the location of the switch, this method may be impractical or expensive. A modern way of removing the snow is to blow warm air around the switch, thus melting the snow or ice accumulation. Either electricity or a gas like propane can be used as a heat source. A more efficient way of heating the rail switch is to use a self-regulating direct contact electrical heater. And this is how it works. The basic design is simple. Two parallel wires are separated by a semiconductive polymer. An electrical insulator is then placed over them. This is followed by a copper braid layer, which among other things, helps in reducing the amount of electromagnetic interference produced by the heater. Finally, everything is wrapped inside an outer insulation layer for protection against the elements. The core of the heater is the semiconductive polymer. It requires no control electronics, but can be more efficient with one. The polymer contains an evenly distributed amount of conductive carbon particles. The density is as such that when the temperature is at a certain low level, the carbon particles are so densely packed that a large amount of them are in direct contact with each other. This allows current to flow from one wire to the other wire of the polymer through the carbon bridge and completes an electrical circuit. This carbon bridge acts like and is a resistor, so it produces heat as the current flows through it. Many of these carbon bridges exist along the length of the cable, producing heat all throughout the cable. As the carbon bridges heat up, so will the polymer in which they are in. As the polymer heats up, it will start expanding. Since the carbon bridges are not solid, but instead made of many carbon particles embedded in the polymer, as the polymer expands, it will force the carbon particles apart, causing an increasing amount of these bridges to break. This in turn will reduce the amount of heat generated until an equilibrium is reached. This mechanism allows a single heater to have multiple temperatures and direct more heat from melting at the exact location of the ice or snow on the railroad switch.